and the title of this video is Conquer Your Worries for Children and Teens, including those who live with hidden conditions. Worry is sometimes also called anxiety and has some other names too, like nerves, panic, fear, agitation. And sometimes it can appear as anger, frustration, maybe you're jumpy, jittery, shaky. You might even feel odd or weird. The top worries of young people are listed below. I'm not going to go through them individually, but maybe at the end you might just want to pause the video and just have a look at the list. It's quite a long list. Anxiety is a normal reaction in our bodies and minds to an actual danger or a fear of danger and causes us to get into one of three states, the fight state, where we want to deal with the challenge in front of us, the flight state, which means we want to run away from the fear, or the free state, where we just go still because we don't actually know what to do. When we look at this picture, we see all the things that can happen in the body when we just have too much anxiety. So when we examine the thing that we're worried about, it's important to actually try and figure out if it's worth worrying about or not. Is there any actual evidence to say we should be worried about this? And if not, let it go. It's not worth worrying about. We've got to remember that facing our worries builds resilience. When we face our worries, and we deal with them, we come out stronger from that experience. But sometimes it just gets too much to handle. I'm not going to go into all the symptoms here because you know yourself what happens to you when you just get overwhelmed with anxiety. So we'll try and move from being a victim of the worry to a conqueror of the worry in these few slides. Some balanced anxiety can be good for us. It can motivate us to perform better maybe in sports or in academics. And it can help us to be creative about our coping methods, like some deep breathing exercises or the use of fidget toys. Anxiety can also help promote patterns of planning, organizing and forward thinking. Breaking through our anxiety can help to allow us to take a chance to learn new skills, maybe join a choir, find new friends or do a speech. Sometimes we use apps or GIFs in order to help us with our coping mechanisms, like this one, which can help to regulate your breathing. It's useful sometimes to have a mental health self-care box with all of the different things listed here or things you can see in the picture, but you know yourself what works best for you. So put together a little box, somewhere that you can keep safe, that you can turn to when you're fearful. It's helpful to do a five senses check in. That just means you focus on each of your senses for a couple of seconds, your sight, smell, hearing, taste and touch. And when you do that, you can't actually think about your worries. If you're old enough to use social media, please do so wisely. Some apps are highly stressful, like Instagram and Snapchat. Others are less so, like YouTube and Twitter. A really useful coping mechanism for worries and fears is to do a body scan meditation. So you close your eyes and then you think about the different parts of your body, your head, your face, your shoulders, your chest and tummy, arms and hands, legs and feet. And when you focus on the different parts of your body, notice anywhere that there's a bit of tension and just let it go. Just relax those muscles. Another useful way to deal with worries is to channel your hero figure. This could be an environmentalist, sports person, maybe an elderly person in your life, or a parent or grandparent, or a coach, an author, or maybe a singer. What would they do about your worry? How would they deal with it? Do a random act of kindness. It'll help somebody else, and it'll take your mind off your worries. So stay connected to your family, friends, and classmates, even if you have to do that via electronic methods at times. Try and eat healthily and avoid fast food as much as you can. Try and do some exercise every day, which helps to reduce anxiety levels. 
Good sleep is important for reducing anxiety also. So things to avoid are TV in your room, stimulants before bed, or watching screens in the bedroom. And better to read a book, keep the room nice and dark, and think about things that you're grateful for. It's a really positive way to drift off to sleep. Regular relaxation exercises are great for reducing anxiety. So mindfulness and breathing exercises are great. So is meditation. And keeping a journal gets the worries out of your head and down onto a page. It can be very therapeutic. You can actually build resilience even in times of worry. So turn your focus outwards. This shows leadership, gives you a sense of control and will build inner confidence. So structure your work in a way that helps others. When worries and anxieties become too much to deal with, it's nice to have a safe place to go just to calm down at home and in school. Some people, particularly those on the autism spectrum, need to do a repetitive action in order to calm down. We call this stimming, and that's okay. It's just your way of regulating your body. Just keep stimming. Don't be afraid to try new things. It does take 21 days to create or break a habit. New things may not be pleasant at first, but try them a few times before deciding. Don't try too many new things at once. Each new thing should be added into a routine gently. Try to build good habits around mental health into your daily routine. Getting family and friends involved in new activities or habits helps. So worries and anxieties sometimes are triggered by events or people or actions. So it's useful to address each trigger one by one to reduce stress. Try and pace yourself throughout each day. Take regular relaxation breaks to keep your stress numbers down. Try and avoid places that you know will stress you out. In order to prepare for challenges, try and role play some difficult situations with your family, friends or classmates. Try and keep your life organized. Tidy room, tidy mind. If you're lucky enough to have a multi-sensory room in your home or school, use it regularly to keep your stress levels down or in times of difficulty to calm down when things get too much. Sometimes it's useful to have a little box where you can put your worries. That'll keep them safe until you get to talk to an adult about them. Talk through your worries with an adult a couple of times a week because sharing your worries really does reduce them. Doing anything creative is a great way to deal with your worries. Sometimes it's useful if the people around you know what kind of mood you're in. So in schools, it might be useful to have this system where you can put a different colored pen on the table to indicate the mood that you're in. The others don't need to necessarily know about it, but the teacher will know what mood you're in. When worried, go to a safe place in your head. You should draw out this place and put the image up on your wall as a reminder. Choose your friends based on common interests, shared values and morals. And also, choose them on how comfortable they make you feel rather than how cool they make you feel. Keep a scrapbook of achievements, memories and strengths, recording all positive developments in your life. Milestones, awards, personal bests, events, activities, purchases, hobbies, photos, cards, letters and pictures of friends. And open up this book anytime you need to relax or feel good about yourself. Sometimes a pet offers great relief from anxiety. So sometimes there are good buddy systems in schools or if you're old enough, there are some good online buddy forums. You are unique and your condition, while it doesn't define you, it is part of you. So try and become an ambassador for your condition. Seek out appropriate camps and clubs to build your confidence. Here are a couple of books that can help with your worries. Here are some useful relaxation apps.
Here are some useful services for when Murray gets too much. Here are some clubs and organizations that might help with your condition. So I hope there was something useful there for you. Thanks for watching.